Meghan Markle here. Today is March 17, 2024. It is 4.50 a.m. This is video number two. On my last video, I was um, talking about my nutrition, things that I'm doing with exercising, and things like that, and I update you guys on a couple other things. One of the updates that I started mentioning is that I might do membership. I was trying to stay away from it because the numbers, I don't trust the numbers, but there are some people who are... Uh, donating and I'm not seeing it so I don't know if it's because of whatever I didn't set up but I'll do it it's still in the thinking process though I will do it but don't expect anything special this is one of the main reason two reasons one I didn't want anyone to expect things other than what I'm already sharing with you because these things take time and for me to um, promise you things and then I cannot deliver I will hate to take the money and I just don't want problem okay but if people are still donating although I say I prefer PayPal and cash app as donation but um, people are doing it through YouTube so I might as well create the membership on YouTube because that way it will, I guess more easier for some people I don't know but I I'm not seeing the numbers this is why I didn't want to do that the yeah that was the other reason okay the first reason i didn't want expectation where i have to pressure myself too much to create things give you you know behind the scene kind of things and uh the second one is i wasn't seeing the numbers on youtube okay but occasionally when i do something special i would like to share it with you i'll do it to a certain capacity and share it with you those who were members on pyte know that i've shared a couple things personal stuff with you guys funny things silly stuff family stuff so just be on the lookout for that for those who wants to support my channel okay i did say okay it's not like um um i'm turning a completely 360 on you guys but uh, if you guys are already doing it i might as well just set it up okay but um anyway i don't want to waste time on this i talk about it on video one and this is why i <laughs> I have video too because I talk too much on video one. So let's go on Twitter, okay? These are the numbers. At the end, I'll come back. All right? I did say I was going to start with this video, okay? Ever since Karma spawned the black on their very own, the wolves are coming out with their tail between their legs, acknowledging the bullying of Megan Marco and calling for an end to the double standard. <laughs> I don't think the squad care anymore because you should have known. These are going adults. These, this is the thing I cannot understand with the UK. Growing adults, even if, allegedly, the institution was telling them to do some stupid things, they are freaking adults. They should know from right and wrong and don't participate. But the institution, this is another thing as well. The royal family, from my understanding, I could be wrong. They cannot be prosecuted. So... They can't be wrong for anything. They cannot go to jail. They cannot do this. Whatever it may be. Again, I could be wrong with that. I don't understand why these people who are, who can be prosecuted, are doing the bidding for the institution who cannot be prosecuted. I don't understand this. Okay? What is going on with these adult people in the UK? I don't know. But let's listen. It's 24 seconds. There will be screenshot. That's all you'll be seeing on the screen, okay? YouTube is going to, you know, copyright thing. There is so much criticism of Megan, whatever she does and whenever she opens mm -hmm. her mouth. And I think we should be aware of that. You know, we've... Um We've tried, we're trying to say that we should lay off uh, Catherine, that we should be 
kind towards Catherine after a small mistake. Well, we can't have dual standards and be so critical of everything Meghan does and then demand kindness for Catherine. Mm. That is That's so pretty much it. Yeah, I agree with her. But where were you during the storm, pretty much, of Meghan Markle? Where were you? Because I think I've shared some of her videos before. But whatever, it is what it is. Now, they wanted the spotlight. The UK wanted spotlight. They wanted to be whatever uh, to the world. They got it. But it's not the way they wanted it. Okay? They have now realized after years of hate and harassment against Megan, it is now having a negative effect on St. Kate. <laughs> That's the only reason she is speaking the truth. Only reason. Look at what it took. After years and years of people telling them to leave Megan alone. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will not see my channel. Okay, the American press has shamed them. Their North Korean style garbage has backfired big time. <laughs> and let me tell you, if the American press were to unite on this issue, they will swallow the British press up. Yeah. Okay, look at this. Trump, look what Trump is going through. Uh, they thought, this is the thing here. They had a plan. The US, okay, the politician, there's two groups in the US. One of the groups had a plan and it was going so alignment with the UK. Okay, this is why I say Harry and Meghan's union was what the UK needed because people you thought who were well-minded, who had common sense, they were doing garbage stuff. So it took Harry and Meghan's union, but unfortunately, Meghan had to suffer through it. Meghan had to suffer through it to open people's eyes. I mean, I don't know how to put it any other way. Okay, let's continue. The American press has shamed them. Their North Korean style garbage has backfired big time. And let me tell you, if the American press were to unite on this issue, they will swallow the British press up. They have already. Only a few have engaged, but they, they carry the big stick. They just got tired of the BS. Okay. Even when they say she had that abdominal surgery and all of that, they bring a professional to talk about it and said, it can be for that long or whatever. It's in one of my videos. I think it was uh, NBC who was talking about it. True. And Wapo entered the chat. I was like, huh? There's the eyes here. Uh-uh. Then Wall Street Journal and New York Times. Wall Street Journal, is it owned by Murdoch? Yeah. New York Times entered and you knew it was rap. LA Times too. Okay. Um, I think Wall Street Journal is a Murdoch. Let me look for it. Yeah. This is what I type. Who on the Wall Street Journal? The Wall Street Journal is a division of Down Jones, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch's News Corp. The paper's primary focus is business and, and economy, but also covers other areas of news. Yeah, I think the minute he bought it, uh, it ruined it. Because I always thought, okay? Because I remember when I first started buying stock, I used to buy the, the Wall Street Journal to read the, the Down Jones and what's going on on Wall Street. It, was, it talks about business only, but now is into gossip and all these BS things. Okay, the paper's primary focus and business and economy, but also covers other areas of news. The Wall Street Journal has several media platforms, including a daily print paper, ex except Sunday, web access, tablet, and smartphone app edition. He effed it up, okay, because I remember um, late 90s, early 2000, I used to buy it. That was before all the social media, the internet was into all of that where you could type thing and find the information really quickly. I used to buy this, um, not every day, but when I want to look and onto a share what I need to know about it, I will go and buy Wall Street Journal to look at the history of that particular, um, uh, how do you call this, performance of that business to see if it was a good buy. All right. I mean, I'm not really professional into that, but I have a basic idea. Okay, Rolling Stone, they are cooked. Yes, so many more. Even some of the big YouTuber Megan haters who shall remain nameless, but I saw. Okay, the British media press has practically accused Harry and Megan of studying World War III just for existing. <laughs> the world finally said, cut that crap out. We are sick and tired of making up shit to cover for the offenders, period. All right, excuse me. A their sign that the British media, who continuously spread morally bankrupt propaganda, are now showing sign of regret when those same skills taught are being applied to others. Uh, this is why uh, Omid should always keep his head high. Because during the storm, I call it the storm, of uh, Meghan Markle bashing, 
those people were making money. You're having things left and right. He could have participated to make a quick buck. But no, he just tell it like it is. And just because he didn't participate, the rest of the royal rats hated him for it. So at least now he could hold his head high and get uh, reasonable, respectable positions. I think from what I've heard, I'm not 100% sure on that. I look it up once and I can find the answer. Obviously, for obvious reason, privacy as well. Um, if he moved to the U.S. But I think one of the royal rats had said he moved to the U.S. and all of that. So if he's in the U.S., you know, I will listen to his uh, his work. But the others, when the minute I see Peace, uh, Peace Morgan, I change this channel. There's no way I'm going to watch his BS, knowing his background. All right, so there's this here. What did royalists think they could get away with selling a fake image of Willie as anything other than the spoiled brat and violent thug he's always been? He's simply incapable of maturity and wisdom to give it up already. Okay, so let's see here. It's a minute and 13 seconds. I'm telling you, occasionally when I come across her at the beginning, I think that's her. What's her name? Tessa or something I think her name is? One minute she will say something. I was like, what the F is she talking about? And then on another platform, I will see her and I'll be like, is she the same person that I heard? I used to literally get confused? I wasn't sure if it was the same person. Okay? <laughs> so that's that. Let's listen to this. By the way, this has taken the world by storm. Australia, America, they cannot get enough of this story. The Americans love a conspiracy theory mm -hmm. and an elected kingship themselves. They love a bit of royal gossip. So this is I'm about sorry. Britain's image. I'm sorry. No, we do not love gossip. We hate the gossip. This is what got me into this nonsense. Okay, you guys are throwing nonsense at the expense of someone's real life. You people want entertainment. I find it hard to see who is the winner here. I mean, Prince Harry goading the press is only and, and forcing the press into humiliating payouts. We're going to see some sort of state regulation of the press. I genuinely hope not. I don't want the press to be in the last chance saloon at all. I want I want to see newspapers thrive. This is my industry, and I think it's in all our interests that we have a thrive. And we've got the most wonderful uh, newspapers in the world in this country. You you read the newspapers in, in the States or in France. They're very dull. They're not entertaining at all. You read the newspapers in, in the States or in France. They're very dull. They're not entertaining at all. I think that we can have a both a serious and an entertaining press. And that's what I want to see survive. I don't want to see Prince Harry destroy the industry I love. We're saying no, we do not want entertainment. We want the truth. We just want the truth, whichever way it comes. And then we'll deal with it. But you guys want to cater, create dramatic effect, sorrow, happiness, this. You want to control this instead of letting the people live their lives and whatever you could report on what you see or what you saw whatever you talk about it no you guys want entertainment and cater it craft it in a way to make us feel a certain way no we do not we do not want that i'm sorry I, you're completely wrong with that this is why my channel is here Stop the freaking BS, at least to my best of my abilities of what I'm aware of. I'm going to move it back. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys going to see only screenshot and probably just the words moving. By the way, this has taken the world by storm. Australia, America, they cannot get enough of this story. The Americans love a conspiracy theory. Mm -mm. And as a, an elected kingship themselves, they love a bit of royal gossip. So this is about Britain's image projected on the stage, cast through the prism of monarchy. We expect our royal family to be above the grubby politicians. Harry warned you guys, okay? Harry told you what the things, the BS you guys are displaying, it doesn't look good on the world stage. He told you guys that, okay? So you guys went on the bashing of him, whatever, but at least Harry was there to at least put desensitize. Okay, am I saying it correctly? Desynthesize the BS that was going on in the UK? 
Okay, he's showing a product of good service and show what I don't know some good that could come out of the UK. But if Harry wasn't really doing some of the things that he's doing outside of the UK, I would assume it's the entire freaking UK that's like that. You guys are freaking trash. I'm sorry, the ones who are on. Um, Okay, let me differentiate it. Except Omid, except O'Brien, and some very few, some of the, uh, how do you call them, um, the byline journalists, except these groups. Okay, but the rest, and the little people of the UK, except some of you, okay, but the ones who hijack the mainstream media, the social media, you make the UK look like trash. I am sorry. And I know some of you will say, what about the U.S.? You're talking all about this. What about the U.S.? But the difference between the U.S. and the U.K. is that the U.S. recognize our stupidity. We recognize it. There are groups who's trying to make it right. And we're not shining away from it. But you could see there's other things. Okay. But the U.K. is pretending to be this nice, perfect country to the world but when you see their behavior and action you're like what the f so stop pretending either you are or you're not and embrace whichever you feel like you are damn but all of a sudden you're saying all of this, this is why i was confused with her one minute she's saying something and another i'm like is she the same person depend on where the wind is blowing i guess heavy one you guys okay and there's a video that i saw I'm not going to share it. Uh, a kid, this is why I say sometimes it exists within the little people as well. A white kid who's bullying a black kid. And I think they forced the black kid to kiss his butt. Okay, so there are some within that still possess the BS that you guys are presenting. But if the adults are flunking this on the mainstream media for these young kids to watch, what the f*** you, do you expect? These kids are going to behave like this because negativity tends to, um, people tend to attract to negativity. It's easy for them to emulate. Okay. But if you guys were possessing, showing kindness, humility, not, I mean, that doesn't mean when someone does something, something to you, you don't, you know, stand your ground and protect yourself. I'm not saying that, but you guys went out of your way. This is the thing here. Went out of your way to flunk BS to people's eyes. What the F is this? My wife said recently that our generation and the ones before us haven't done enough to right the wrongs of the past. I too am sorry. Sorry that we haven't got the world to the place that you deserve it to be. Institutional racism has no place in our societies, yet it is still endemic. Unconscious bias must be acknowledged without blame to create a better world for all of you. I want you to know that we are committed to being part of the solution and to being part of the change that you are all leading. Now is the time and we know that you can do it. All right, so that's that. Let's move back a little bit, rewind it a little bit. Expect our royal family to be above the grubby politicians. And the Queen did that quite brilliantly. Uh, I mean, she had her dip, she had her bad moments. But on the whole, there was this idea that something was above politics, that they had to bend their knee to her. And the problem is when uh, the one of the leading palaces, Kensington Palace, the bright, brave new face of monarchy, which is what Kate and William are, put something out there that cannot be trusted, then arguably they're playing at no better a level than the politicians. And already, because they're part of the culture wars now, courtesy of the whole kind of divide between um, Harry and William, exacerbated by the way the press narrate those. Well, this went back since you guys decided to create the division. And then this is where I came in. I decided to choose a side because you guys made Harry's wife look like a villain when she didn't do anything. Okay, so that started way before. And I will not be surprised if we go back, way back before that picture that was altered and then AP called the UK out, the whatever, the um, KP out. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys have altered other things as well. But anyway. These two narratives. This means that they no longer pull us above our political differences. And if the royal family don't serve as this impartial place or patriotic space above politics, then please tell me what is their main function? 
In my humble opinion, I think the mistake that the UK did is allowing the newspaper to govern or dictate what politicians should do. This is where the problem started. Okay? They entered themselves in in all aspects of areas where they feel like they could control so they could get away with whatever it is that they want. Even Murdoch has said it. Okay? He pretty much controlled the UK, but in EU, he can't. So that's why he preferred the UK. You allow him to do that. So this is what happened. You have to stand your values and stand true to it and don't let people dictate to you. Because Murdoch has gotten into all areas of, I guess, the UK. Look what happened in the US. They were inching. He did a lot of damages to in the US. An immigrant came to our shores nearly 50 years ago and brought destruction with him. Destruction wrought by stoking fear of all outsiders, except for himself. His name is Rupert Murdoch, and he's the most dangerous man to ever cross our border. He built an empire out of fear and lies, ruling over a network of deceit that made him a billionaire. Brainwashed millions all those people in the back are fake news. with un-American propaganda. But now, the very source of Rupert Murdoch's power will become his downfall. Because America is watching. But once he got into the election thing, and thank God that company, Dominion, stood its ground and called him to court and sue him. And I think there's other companies that sue him. I don't, I haven't followed the other lawsuit, but Dominion one I'm aware of. So there needs to be a stop, a differentiation. And this is why I call the UK kind of system a recycle system. Okay, you all want to keep everything to yourselves. You don't want others to get a piece of the pie or anything like that. So this is where the problem is. And if we're not careful in the U.S. as well, we will run in the same BS as the U.K. And pretty much the U.S. is a product of the U.K., you know, from its history and everything. But anyway, that's a different topic. Let's continue. Well, they need to go. Okay, because what they were supposed to do, from my understanding, is to, not only for charitable things or whatever, but to create, uh, how do you call this, uh, where people go and visit, tourism. Okay, create a display of some something that will make people want to come and visit. But from what I'm seeing, there's no way I want to put my foot over there. If I have money, I'm, there's no way I'm going to go on vacation over there. If I want to look at something, I go online and look it up. Yes, sometimes these things need to be seen with your own two eyes. But if you're going to encounter, like for instance, like I was just saying, that young boy is bullying the other, don't get me wrong, it happens everywhere, okay? It happens everywhere, but we are seeing it. You guys are displaying on your national television, and then now we are seeing it on your local level. Come on, okay? The thing is that what you guys are displaying on national level it's the fact that you went out of your way. That's the thing here. You went out of your way to do that. If you look at American politics right now, believe me, I'm not saying it's perfect. There's a lot of BS similar to the UK that's going to. But what you are seeing, other politicians are standing up and calling the BS out. Thank you, Mr. President. I didn't expect to wake up yesterday to the news that the senator from the 22nd district had overnight accused me by name of grooming and sexualizing children in an email fundraising for herself. So I sat on it for a while wondering why me? And then I realized because I am the biggest threat to your hollow, hateful scheme. Because you can't claim that you are targeting marginalized kids in the name of, quote, parental rights if another parent is standing up to say no. So then what? Then you dehumanize and marginalize me. You say that I'm one of them. 
You say she's a groomer. She supports pedophilia. She wants children to believe that they were responsible for slavery and to feel bad about themselves because they're white. Well, here's a little bit of background about who I really am. Okay, trying to frame this kind of caricature of the president so they could create a narrative to sell to the people. So you see elected officials standing their ground and calling BS out. So at least there's a little hope there. There's hope there. But when everyone, like I've always said, the recycle system in the UK, the recycle system, politician, the royal family, and the court. The only thing that I will say to a certain extent, only the court that stood above the parapet to show some sort of a decency. Although there have been, that is very questionable with the one with Johnny Depp. I'm always standing by that. I think that this one is very questionable considering who were the defendant. Okay. But anyway, so the, when you look at the recycle system, that's my term that I call in the UK, the royal family, elected officials, and the court, you have two branches that are aligned. We are seeing it as well in the US, but I think we're doing our best to make sure these two branches, which is the court and the presidency, don't match because each and every one of them should be individually. They should not be on the same page. Only if the truth is the truth. You could be on the same page. When you see the truth, you see the truth. But when you see what's going on in the U.S., the Supreme Court, and certain ruling that they're making, you start questioning what is going on, trying to undermine democracy, not playing the thing fair. Who knows? They probably blackmail them for them to do the, with certain decision. So we are seeing it. So there's something that's going to be done about it. If, if, big if, 2024 election goes accordingly. So the U.K., you see those two, actually, I will say an extra branch would be the papers are on the same page. Okay? Removing the courts in the UK. You see the royal family, the papers, the, the politician on the same page. So you get garbage. And you guys are spewing nonsense to the people. And then, what was it? Then they said the UK is uh, the saddest country or something like that. I don't know. But, oh, uh, let's go... X7. Okay, I need to read some of the comments before I go. Okay, whatever is there. Let's read. Okay, there's the ad. There's that. Will and Kate are already crap at their job. They will be crappier. Heads of state abolish the whole thing now. It's time. Okay, so it started here. They lie themselves, lie to their citizen, but the rest of the world were like lies. The rest of us saw right through him, just like the crap Photoshop. Okay, nothing will save the royal family now except William openly giving an uh, olive branch to Harry. Still, I don't think so. You can he cannot, he cannot be trusted. I'm sorry, because this kid have been angry ever since he was a kid. Now to see his BS is being exposed even more, he's gonna get more angrier. So there's no change here. They are disgusting cheats. Damage is done at Kensington Royal, hanging on by a thread now. We all love the queen, but now people are being forced to like this lot of royals through tabloid bribery. I don't want Harry being used to save them, so they must just leave him alone. But of course, they'll try. Okay, we'll see. Next tweet. So there's that here. Hey, Scottish cousins. Now is your time to break free, you two Irish cousins. Heck, I'll even root for a French invasion at this point. Okay. She must have seen something to make the reference to that. Okay, I'm also cheering Commonwealth countries to break free. Nothing common about the Commonwealth. There's that. The Welsh will bring up the rear. So there must be one of those who's talking about that. That's an ad. Come on, my friend. There's this. Don't forget Wales. There's that. Okay, Northern Ireland could well break away and join with the independent South. Scotland, I'm more worried for as its new first minister is less popular. I may be wrong. I hope this does happen though. All right, revolution, laughing my eyes off, vive le revolution, I'm coming, Scott, Scotland, Scotland, okay, I'm ready, I shall show no mercy. <laughs> I would love to see Scottish independence, OMG, Outlander. Have you guys watched that show? Oh my goodness, there's a scene, it's very hot. Amazing, sh amazing show, haha, -ha. strike while the iron is hot. Yeah, I think so too. 
this is the best comment here. While all this mess is happening, do do what you need to do to get yourself out of that. Next tweet. Oh my God, it's already five. You should have listened to your brother and support his wife. Let's pause. Even if the British media came after you, the rest of the world will have supported you. Exactly. This is it. I've talked about this in many other videos. All, all he needed to be is for the people. That's it. The BS that the tabloid put on Charles' head to make him believe this is what will save him. Wow. And then Charles passed it on to his son and Harry was like, what the F are you telling me? He didn't say it like that. You know, what the F are you telling me? You went through a pain of suffering and you want me to go through it? No. Suffered. Do everything you can to make sure that whatever experiences you, negative experiences that you had, that you can make it right for your kids. We chose to put our mental health first. That's what we're doing and that's what we will continue to do. Isn't this all about breaking the cycle? Isn't this all about making sure that history doesn't repeat itself? That whatever pain and suffering has happened to you that you don't pass on? And this is where the thing, so this is probably where it probably opens Harry's eyes. When Charles was talking to them about that, they, uh, they both took a different uh, approach. Meanwhile, the other brother took the father's side. And you see what happened here. I mean, it's not easy when what Harry and Megan just did here. Me from the outside looking in, it's not easy to make that huge, huge decision. I mean, it was that decision was easy for Megan. Hey, I'm gone because the, I didn't grow up like that, so I have nothing to gain or whatever. All right. So for Harry, it was huge. It was a huge decision. Okay, to leave all of this, what you grew up with, and all of that, and then to start fresh, not knowing what you're gonna. Uh, I don't know how you're going to flourish later. Not only that. This is where it's very important. It wasn't just him and Megan. If it was just him and Megan, that would be fine. You know, you protect yourself. You do what you have to. But there was a child. A child who doesn't. At that time, if he saw a fire, he probably would put his finger in it. He probably didn't know the right from wrong. And this is where he would have learned. And said, oh, well, next time I see this, it's to stay away from the fire. But he didn't know. I'm talking about Archie. Okay. So Heavy had to protect his wife, his child, and his mental well-being as well. While the other brother was putting so much unnecessary. This is the thing here. It wasn't called for. It was not called for. Your brother said he wants to move. That'll be like fine. And then make a deal with him. Can you help me with this? Or but he went the savage way. So began to address Granny about the five options. Your Majesty, you've seen the five options? Yes, she said. We all had. They'd been emailed to us. Five different ways of proceeding. Option one was continuance of the status quo. Meg and I don't leave. Everyone tries to go back to normal. Option five was full severance. No royal role, no working for granny, and total loss of security. Option three was somewhere in between. A compromise, closest to what we'd originally proposed. I told everyone assembled that, above all, I was desperate to keep security. That was what worried me most, my family's physical safety. I wanted to prevent a repeat of history, another untimely death, like the one that had rocked this family to its core 23 years earlier, and from which we were still trying to recover. I'd consulted with several palace veterans, people who knew the inner workings of the monarchy and its history, and they all said option three was best for all parties. Meg and I living elsewhere part of the year, continuing our work, retaining security, returning to Britain for charities, ceremonies, events. Sensible solution, these palace veterans said, and eminently doable. But the family, of course, pushed me to take option one. Barring that, they would only accept option five. We discussed the five options for nearly an hour. At last, the bee got up and went round the table, handing out a draft of a statement the palace would soon be releasing, announcing implementation of option five. Wait, I'm confused. You've already drafted a statement? Before any discussion? Announcing option five? In other words, the fix was in this whole time? This summit was just for show? 
No answer. Savage AF. Savage. Savage AF. So whatever he gets, that's what he deserves. Okay, let's read this. I cannot see that one. Yes, they will, and they will have been extremely popular. They wouldn't have been in the shambles they are now, and their number one enemy wouldn't have had so much clout. Uh, he is a short-sighted tyrant. Yeah, William is. Yeah, he see the now, he threw it out, and then he think it's done with, but then think of the consequences, the ripple effect. Next tweet, there's that. Who's going to enlighten them that the world doesn't revolve around Willie? So there's that here. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry slam for making two announcements that clash with William's speech. I'm shaking my head as I'm reading this. I cannot see this tweet. Good point. Okay, the words are ridiculous. Meghan posted a name. That's it. Willie and Kate promoted a podcast to conflict with the opening of Invictus, which is for disabled veterans, and the British media brag about it deliberately, taking the attention away. I remember that now. I don't, because I don't follow them. I don't know they did that. That's news to me now. So it then go, it then reached for. But I black a lot of derangers anyway, so they probably were talking about it. It then reached me. So there. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if the Sussexes wake up and say, "Quote: I wonder what we are going to be blamed for and criticize about today." <laughs> it's almost like uh, Pinky in the Brain is asking Pinky, "What are we gonna do today?" <laughs> I shared that before in some of my videos. We're gonna conquer the world. Chief, mate, what do you wanna do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. And then they go about their business of living their lives. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I've, I literally put this before and I cut the music out so I don't get copyright thing. Is Pinky and the brain coming? Uh, Pinky, what are we gonna do today? He's going around that uh, circular thing. And he said the same thing we always do every day. We're going to conquer the world. <laughs> I think they no longer pay much attention to it because they know they'll be winging either way. Um, I sometimes wonder if these people are joking and then I remember that they took this same attitude around the world and destroyed so many people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tribes and nation. Thank goodness we are at the final stage of the British monarchy. Yep. I agree with them. I agree with her, and I've said this in a similar way. This is why they saw uh, m uh, misery, okay? Because they don't want anything good for people. They go around the world and out of envy, jealousy, and destroy many cultures. I've said this, yeah. Not exactly in her ways, but um, in all of that. Yep, cruelty is in their DNA. Yep, that's exactly that. Okay, the truth is, it won't have matter when they did it. The toxic British press will have complained. It was a sunny day. How dare they try to distract from people trying to enjoy a nice day with their new site. Or something equally as ridiculous. <laughs> That's true. Okay, if, I'm telling you, when I started looking into them a little bit deeper, deeper, and I realized the BS that they were. I even look into the, uh, the tabloid and all of this. And thank God, as I was searching whatever was popping in my brain, and I record them and share it with you. Okay, you could go to PYTE. Well, the other day, uh, before I get um, back into the monetization program, YouTube made, there's some I've already added and re-upload, but I think there were more. I need to look back. Uh, I took down, but never went back to uh, fix it. Okay, let's, after this, that's it. A rock, a doormat, a door, a rocking chair, could be more entertaining than Willie and trust me. Yeah, Willie is good if you want to send people to sleep. <laughs> yeah, Willie is good if you want to send people to sleep. Next tweet. Okay, I need to finish because I, now I have four videos to edit. Yesterday I only did one and I didn't bother <laughs> edit anything. I went to clean and then fall asleep. All right, next tweet. So the world was supposed to stop for Willie's great speech and attendance at the Diners Award. There's a rolling eye. In reality, his speech was sleep inducted. <laughs> In reality, his speech was sleep inducing and his attendance less than an hour. The me, 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 me social reel he made of the event was probably longer than his attendance, clown. Okay, I didn't even bother. I didn't even know he did a speech. But I share with you on my other channel, 
our part of pure service for those who are new i have another channel where i talk about all the charitable work anything that i come across that has to do with harry and megan's work that's where i put them i don't put them on this channel you see all the garbage that i'm talking about the, the uk tabloid to at least keep you informed so you don't be surprised when new things pop up so this is why this channel is it's a backup of pyte which was my main channel i know i know you guys could laugh about me about that because uh, of so many channels but after really put wet my feet into the nonsense that i was seeing i can't mix them up i can't mix them up at all okay our part of pure service uh, i believe i created last year because now heavy and megan's work was starting to be flourishing and i was like i was like nah there's no way i wanted them this channel even though this channel is monetized okay that other channel is not so i just wanted to be different from that okay and pyte is another when they are gossip positive gossip about harry and megan about their work yes then i'll put it on pyte but their work i'll put of pure service gossip positive gossip let's say after for instance uh harry had received uh, his award the living legend award there's little gossip going on a day or two later you know people are talking about it still it will go on pyte but on the event, the day of, he's receiving his award, leading up to, you know, to pop you up, it will be on our part of your service. Okay, so let's get back to that. I had to say that because my channel is growing. So I need to let you know, if you want to see everything, you have to subscribe to all three channels. Okay, and I don't post every day on the others. This one is every day. I try to, okay, I try to. They may not be up to date. Okay, like this one I'm recording now, you may see it, <laughs> I don't know, in two weeks. Okay, the me, 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 social reel he made of the event was probably longer than the than his attendance. Award time, 3.30, award winners and their families began arriving at the Hilton Hotel at the Waterloo ahead of Diana Legacy Award Ceremony. Okay, 5.30 p.m., award winners and guests began arriving for the prestigious black tie event at the Science Museum in Kensington. 7.30, Prince William begins handing out awards to 20 winners. There's that here. 8.15. So these are the 20 attend winners that were sitting around the table that Harry had this, uh, was talking about them. Where did I put it? It's probably on our part of your service. You're not going to see it on this channel. It's on our part of your service. 8.15 p.m. Uh, actually, it was a little bit more intimate. All right? Harry get to speak with them and they get to speak to Harry back and forth and stuff like that. So it was a bit more intimate. 8.15 p.m. Prince William leaves the event while guests sit down to dinner with the event finishing around 9 p.m. I mean, he could have sit and talk to them and eat with them. Okay, so this is the prestige uh, pedestal he's putting himself on and he wants people to like him. So there's that. Okay, 11.30 p.m. Award winners began to arrive back at Hilton Hot Hotel ahead of a video conference with Prince Harry in California. So this is where I picked up. Okay, so on our part of Pew Service, this is uh, when Harry was talking to them. Wow, they had a long journey because at 11.30 p.m., that was like midnight prince harry begins his chat with award winners sitting around a table in a conference room at the hilton hotel okay you will see this this part this is where i picked up on our part of pure service 1 a.m guests began filtering off to their rooms okay so there's that here let's read some of the comments things megan must not do live in the uk or any place she chooses work live house shop dine speak smile walk or run do charity work have friends dress well and never arrange anything without checking and get permission from the palace chase bill have i missed anything <laughs> you forgot breathe <laughs> so these are the things they always um criticize harry megan for okay i'm so glad to see this timeline yeah me too um there is an eight or nine nine hour time difference between california and london so was william home when announcement was made and megan marco knew his website okay i said so yeah yeah so he wasn't <laughs> oh my goodness let me go into that is that the only comment here i said so so it was even around the same time 
Again, I want to know, was William a last-minute addition to the program? Did he need a positive event? Probably needed an engagement count or heard Harry would be dialing in. Could be. All right. Uh, the verdict is in from the same UK media. Prince Harry generated 16,000 views while Prince uh, William 6.1 thousand views. Very interesting. I need to bookmark this to share on my community board. Okay, so let's go. Let me read this and then go into that. This is very new to me. Oh, I comment. I forgot. So he didn't even sit down and eat with them. You see, I didn't even see this comment. This is what I was saying. This is where he should have sat and engaged with those people. Yeah, let's see that one. Okay, well, there must always be a line between present and him. That's the thing. You see? I didn't even see this comment, and this is why I said he put himself in that pedestal, and he want the people to like him. He never treats them as his equal. I know Harry would have chatted, eating, uh, eating them, okay, eating with them, and spent time listening to them. That's what differentiates William and Harry: compassion. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, I was there. Okay, so the world was supposed to pause for William' great speech. What was his speech about then? I really don't know. Okay, they're complaining more than they're actually saying what he did. It must have been some typical BS of his. <laughs> really, 45 minutes, heavy one-hour video conference. There's that. Let me go into that. Uh, came here to say that. A little telling there. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so there's that. Okay, Zendi, almost all were engagement or below an hour. Half an hour even, I saw Edward as he's the patron of the charity where I volunteered six times in 12 years. He never stayed 20, oh my God, 20 minutes on what is our biggest day. All that's exchange of uh, platitude that embarrass anyone with a brain. <laughs> Good point. Let's see. Okay, so this is the one that I want to go into. Okay, no surprise at all that Harry got higher engagement. Okay, so hopefully he see that next time he sit his butt down and eat with the people if the event goes the same way. So now into that, the verdict is in from the same UK media PR. Prince Harry generates 16,000 views while Prince William 6.1 thousand views. Start blaming on Meghan launching an Instagram account. People just aren't interested in Prince William full stop. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so there's that. Um... Protecting my mother's legacy, Harry's tribute to Diana's award winner. One day ago, there's the telegraph. Where is the numbers? Okay. Okay. Prince Harry thank young people for protecting the legacy of his late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, and, and a message. Okay. Uh, she will have been honored. Princess Diana giving tribute by Prince William at award. The Prince of Wales has said that his mother taught him that everyone has the potential to give something back as he has he paid. Okay, like I said, the same BS, but uh, you call your mother paranoid. So where was where are the numbers? I was looking for the numbers, but okay, let's go to the next tweet. If I have time, I'll look on. Um, oh my God, forty minutes. I do not want to do another third video, and I have plenty more. One might even say we have reached the end game. So that's Omid. Male exclusive plot to crown Mordot. Okay, what's that? Mordot as PM tomorrow papers today. Okay, if the royal family is not quite at the 11th hour, it is seriously close. Uh, a passionate warning from Richard K. that no one who cares about the monarchy can ignore. Mm -mm -mm. Plot to crown Mordot as PM. Okay, who? Okay, so there is a name behind it. Penny Mordaunt. How do you pronounce it? Is it Mordaunt? Okay, so that's her. So they're going to um, put a new prime minister. So she could stay for two, uh, what, two months and then leave. Plot to crown Mordaunt as PM. Exclusive Tory prime minister on White have held secret talk with uh, Madurit about replacing Rishi with Penny. So what did Pe um, Rishi did? They just don't like him? Oh, I know why, I know why, I know why. Because Rishi had given Harry the permission to look at the, what is it? What's that paper? Um, uh, with the phone hacking thing. What's, uh, I can't think of it right now. Just look at the screen. I can't think of it right now. So I hope Harry really take good advantage really quickly and look for all the information that he needed to uh, do whatever he's going to do. Because if they're trying to change 
the the prime minister it's probably because of uh rishi suna giving heavy and um uh elton john you know the people for the phone hacking who won uh, permission to look at oh my god what's the name I can't believe this. I could not think of the Levison and Queen. Africa had to look at, go search it up. I said, we should soon have give Harry and Elton John, Elton John permission to look at what document. It's the Levison and Queen. I can't think of it. Sometimes my brain just went black. Okay, so there's the telegraph here. That, the documents outline payments made to private investigators by both the Daily Mail and the Mail on Sunday. The notice which was signed by, I'll leave the link in the description if you guys, um, don't know uh payment details okay so that's what i was making reference to so the prime minister the current prime minister rishi sunak who signed after heavy and the rest won their case against the paper so the judge had said if heavy wants to bring a case against the papers or whatever uh who, I, I forgot the full term he will need to get permission from the government okay to access the levison inquiry if heavy get information through leaks the court will not accept it okay will not recognize his case so rishi sunak which is the government gave him the access signed the papers and say yes you could view whatever information they had gathered for the levison inquiry and you, so you could do whatever you need to do okay now that he won the case if he didn't win the case he will not get access to it. So this is what I'm saying. The papers are upset with Rishi for that. That's what I think. Okay. The irony of this is that the British media and royal praise singers and said Harry and Meghan and not Andrew were trying to bring down the monarchy for speaking their truth. Yet it took one fake photo by their perfect English voice and tended to deceive the world to bring the firm to its racist knees. Who thought? Exactly. Okay, where is Charles? Why is he quiet? Again, I, I think on my last video, I don't think I edit yet. I said there was a step for this. If And again, I'm going back to my old thinking. I don't think he's truly sick. If he is, there's my disclaimer. I'm sorry, but those people lie too much. Perfect example of their lies is that freaking photograph. Okay, to back up my claim. Why do I think he's not really sick? Because they were planning okay they knew a couple things were gonna evolve so they wanted to step back to put william on the stage and let him get all the blame so before all of that i think the three in the marriage was trying to get a little bit sympathy while charles stepped back because he took a step back first first he came he was gonna get uh, some checkup and then the following week there's the sympathy he wanted some more and say he got cancer allegedly okay he, they say it but i'm saying allegedly uh, and, and my part and then now the three in the marriage try to seem i get appeal to the public look i'm doing his work for him Th that's the way that i took it okay and then she was rejected <laughs> at least from my part you still three in the marriage go take care of your husband get out of people's face <laughs> because if they kept have all of their bs to themselves in the uk but they flunked it into our face across the pond so i have to respond okay so she went back to her thing wherever she called from wherever under vac that charles is and go join him and now they're letting william get all of the blame for all of the bs because i think they know because since december 28 something must have happened to kate they knew okay when they know the the heat is getting too hot because they already have negative coverage so they took a step back a little at a time okay you know when you're walking slowly outside of the spotlight that was charles and camilla all right so they let william get everything uh, all the blame but still okay where was i the irony of the okay i read this where is Charles? why is he quiet i know funny how he avoided two word but yeah um you're absolutely right wasn't the, i'm going to the next week wasn't charles and camilla supposed to go to there was an announcement i came across and i shared it with you he was supposed to go to australia is that still on mm, but anyway next week i bookmarked this but it started there 
really the profit of those sales of King Charles okay so this is what I bookmark Let, this is where it started this is Vogue magazine why is Meghan Markle being criticized for American Riviera Orchard when King Charles III has been selling his own gym for decades okay so there's 933 comment here so this is the one that i decided to comment on okay really the profit of those sales by king charles iii do not go direct yeah right directly to him they go to his many charities now megan on the other hand well she'll use that money for the next plastic surgery procedures okay so let's read here read the article before you commenting hater Okay, yeah, okay, let me reiterate. Megan will be profiting from the Royals brand sales. How? By funding her ninth, uh, where is it? We know plastic PX. Th that should be a, uh, how do you call this uh, deformation here? You don't know. She didn't do any of this. But anyway, how old are you? Seriously, go away, troll. So there's me here. <laughs> I took part of her sentence. Now, Megan, on the other hand, you, this is where she put it. Now, Megan, on the other hand, that's the part that I, I copy. Okay, now Megan, on the other hand, better live her effing life. She was doing all of these things before she married Harry. The royal family actually owe her for not only made her close her profitable lifestyle website, TIG, but also her profitable IG account and leaving her acting gig. Megan can use her money to do whatever she wants. Okay, so there's that. Charles even stole from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's about if you don't have a will the, the property goes to him Charles even stole from the dead and uh, his whole life is paid for by the taxpayers and how Megan uses her money is none of your business worry about your dying instead and uh, cry even more because this title will be hers forever okay when your whole life is paid for by taxpayers you can give all your profit to charity to charity okay she is working for her money leave her alone exactly i told ya that willie was still a pegging rose <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere many charities what charity that's why right. many of them are closing off i'll come back to that how do we know that okay Oh, be quiet. There are lots of royal members are selling things using their titles and private jets when she can't get one for free. Okay, whatever. Okay, she's just doing. Let me look. You know what? I need to finish. Oh my God. It's 541. If you look at video one, you see when I started. I need to finish and there's so much more. Next tweet. Meghan Markle is the wife of the fifth in line to the British throne, the mother of the sixth and seventh in line, Princess Henry, Duchess of Sussex, Countess of Dumbarton, and Baroness Kilkill. If you don't like it, abolish the monarchy. <laughs> Okay, in January 2020, the Duke and Duchess announced that they were stepping back from their role as senior members of the royal family because they were pushed back by your freaking heir. And he grabbed the best of the best, I guess, in the UK to uh to write the papers for him to get him out of there so it's not heavy who wanted to but he was pushed out began to address granny about the five options your majesty you've seen the five options yes she said we all had they'd been emailed to us five different ways of proceeding option one was continuance of the status quo meg and i don't leave everyone tries to go back to normal Option five was full severance. No royal role, no working for granny, and total loss of security. Option three was somewhere in between. A compromise, closest to what we'd originally proposed. I told everyone assembled that, above all, I was desperate to keep security. That was what worried me most, my family's physical safety. I wanted to prevent a repeat of history, another untimely death, like the one that had rocked this family to its core 23 years earlier, and from which we were still trying to recover. I'd consulted with several palace veterans, people who knew the inner workings of the monarchy and its history, and they all said option three was best for all parties. Meg and I living elsewhere part of the year, continuing our work, retaining security, returning to Britain for charities, ceremonies, events. Sensible solution, these palace veterans said and eminently doable. But the family, of course, pushed me to take option one. Barring that, they would only accept option five. We discussed the five options for nearly an hour. 
At last, the bee got up and went round the table, handing out a draft of a statement the palace would soon be releasing, announcing implementation of option five. Wait, I'm confused. You've already drafted a statement? Before any discussion? Announcing option five? In other words, the fix was in this whole time? This summit was just for show? No answer. Okay. A statement released by the palace confirmed that the Duke and Duchess were to become financially independent and cease to represent the Queen. Okay. The who and who? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Neither of them are HRA, so they still are. Oh, they're just not using it. <laughs> this is the nonsense with the UK. The, I don't know. I really don't know what went in their head. So they told them to not use HRH. Okay, because they are so clenched with names and they're doing that with that uh, 2.0, to in a marriage 2.0 as well, with names. They don't know it's within what you're capable of doing that makes you who you truly are. But they were so attached with name and they told them don't use HRH. Okay, don't use HRH. Harry was willing to giving up the titles as well, but whatever neither of them are hra so being called duke or duchess means nothing that's fine too rachel isn't fit to be a duchess <laughs> look at it was it in this video where one of the comment was saying that uh the way uh the kate was look at her leg or something let me go look for it as i go to my notifications some people just like it. there it is right here okay this image here there's one saying here uh, we don't like this woman, and yet we have one about her condition. What wife of a president or future monarch will go out like this without lowering her dress? Her fans are so preoccupied with hating Megan that they don't even see all the signs Kate is sending. And there's me here. But the signs were all there before. She was married to the heir. So, so what does that say about the heir? Just asking. Okay, this is the image that I was talking about. Okay, so there's that. And fit to be uh, whatever position. And then you have another one here saying she's not fit to it as well. So leave Megan alone. All right, <laughs> where was I now? <laughs> Neither of them. It's just BS. If you see it, there it is. But anyway, so let's go to the next tweet. great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back.
together. And if I may speak personally, we are all in this together. Because asking for help was one of the best decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.